What's going on, friend? It's your boy, Big John from Body4. Today I want to talk about something that was very hard for me to wrap my head around when I first started working out. And that was the difference between aerobic and anaerobic exercise. Now, you hear all these things in fitness. You want to do aerobic. You want to do anaerobic. This, is, this exercise is best for anaerobic. This exercise is best for aerobic. This is what you want to do. You want to keep your heart rate up in here, and you want to keep your heart rate up there. Here's the thing. Any exercise can be anaerobic or aerobic, depending on the intensity in what you perform the exercise at. All right? And here is why. Running and sprinting is the same concept. You're both doing your, the, both those exercises are using the same motion. The only difference is, one, you're using intensity at a high rate, while the other, you are not. Now, so you say, all right, John, well, what the hell makes sprinting anaerobic, and what the hell makes running or jogging aerobic? Here's the difference. Anaerobic refers to anything that you, de whenever you're exercising and you deplete oxygen levels in your body, the system needs to go another route to go through another form of respiration to take on the lack of oxygen that the body is using. And it formates the lactic acid. That's why when you lift weights, when you, after the 12th rep, you feel like your arm is going to fall off and you can't lift anymore because that's the buildup of, that's the anaerobic nature of it. It uses, you have less oxygen that you're using when you do a more strenuous activity, which creates a different form of respiration and the formation of lactic acid. When you're doing an aerobic exercise, the body continually gets the oxygen needed to keep going. It's getting, it's maintaining the oxygen level to keep performing. So it, it goes by an aerobic respiration. It goes via that circuit, that network. But once when you use up so much intensity and the oxygen is depleting and the more and more and faster it depletes, the more you're getting into an anaerobic threshold and then it's going to turn on an anaerobic mechanism for breathing and, and, to, and to give the body the energy required that it needs to sustain the exercise. Now, if you're jogging, you're not going to build up the lactic acid that you would if you were sprinting. So therefore, there is no need to change over. You're not depleting oxygen crazy, so there's no need to change over into a different mechanism of respiration, a different form of respiration. That's why it's very confusing because you hear people say, oh, if you want to lift weights, do an aerobic exercise lifting weights. Do an anaerobic exercise lifting weights. That's why it's confusing because if I'm here just lifting my arm like this, I could do this 100 times, 300 times, 400 times. No big deal. I'm going to get a little discomfort, but I could keep going. Now, if I put 30, 40 pounds in my hand, how many times do you think I can do that? The intensity is much greater. It's putting much more force and strain on the muscle to lift. So I'm lifting and the oxygen is doing without oxygen. That's why they call it anaerobic. It does a different mechanism now. My energy is depleting the oxygen. I'm depleting the oxygen doing that heavy, intense exercise. When you're sprinting, you're doing you're depleting a lot of the oxygen stores in your body. That's why when you do a full-on sprint, you're like this. It for, takes a form of a different respiration. Now understand, it's not like, you know, your oxygen level completely, sh completely shuts off. But it takes on a different method of obtaining the energy needed to continue. And that's why your body stops after a while because you're depleting all of it. So it says enough. That's why when you lift weights, you could only lift so much and then it stops. That's why when you sprint, you could only run so far and so fast and then you can't run no more. But if you're jogging, it takes on that different form of respiration so you can keep jogging for an hour if you wanted to. And 
That's, that's basically the difference. So you could turn any exercise into an aerobic or an anaerobic exercise depending on the type of intensity that you put towards it and as much more strain on your body. As always, I hope this helps. I love you guys. Take care. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Go to the greatest website in the world, www.body-forward.com, and hit that free nutrition report. It's good. Take care.